Hi everyone. If you're new to my YouTube channel, let me tell you how you can use my YouTube videos to learn physics effectively. First of all, my channel is involving the syllabus of IGCSE and IBDP physics. So in IGCSE, when you look at the notes, uh, there will be two main features. One is you can see there are lots of different kinds of internet memes. Some of those I find it on the internet, some of those I just created on my own. Uh, but you can see all of these are relevant to the physics knowledge. So if you don't understand a certain concept, then you won't understand uh, why a certain meme is hilarious. So only if you can laugh uh, when you read a certain meme, that means you are kind of successful because you have mastered a certain concept in physics. And I do really think that uh, by creating your own memes or uh, having some more creativity going on, it can actually help you to consolidate your concepts in physics and also share the joy of learning physics. So if you look at the top here, uh, there is a QR code where I would like you to always think about if there's any memes you can make and uh, you can just submit to me and I will share with everyone. And if you haven't checked out my previous video about the meme challenge, I'll, I'll recommend you to check it out now. I'll put the link in the description and also the card on the top right corner. The second features that I would say is uh, if you read through the notes that I provide to you, uh, you'll find out there are lots of different blanks that I would like you to fill in. Uh, and that is something may, you may find different from other YouTube's video like Car Academy. So what they do is usually they just show you uh, how to calculate, how to do a certain problem. Uh, but for me, I would say this is more of an interact, uh, interaction between you and me because uh, I truly believe when you want to learn something, you really have to try uh, to do it yourself uh, instead of just watching other people to do it. I recently uh, read a book. I'm still reading it, but uh, some idea that I've got from this book called Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman uh, is that there are two ways of thinking in your brain and one is called System 1, one is called System 2. And for System 1, uh, it's more about uh, how you normally react uh, very quickly. For example, uh, you, you simply think, oh, when I uh, want to go onto the bus, you want to simply use your AutoPass card or anything to just tap and just pay the money. Uh, you don't actually involve much thinking in it. But for system two, uh, it is usually taking you effort to think slowly and uh, you really have to uh, put effort into those thinking. At times, you may be la lazy and you just simply do uh, your learning using system one, uh, but then in that case, you won't learn it well. So only through by, for example, there are times in the video I ask you to pause and then you have to try the question yourself before I explain to you. This is a time where the learning takes place. So uh, do follow my instruction. When I ask you to pause, you really need to pause and then try the question and that will really help you to learn uh, your learning very effectively. That should also apply to simulation like uh, some of those that I provide to you in the note. For example, like this one, or like this one, or like this one. I will also provide some samples of past paper question in the note uh, so that you can see how that question may look like in the actual exam scenario. Without further ado, let's start your first physics video.